What's up guys? We are on day two of the LS build series. Uh, today we are gonna finally take the cylinder heads off. I just need to drain the oil and coolant and just take this one header bank off. Some of those bolts were giving me a little bit of trouble, but uh, we should be able to inspect the lifters and see if we got any collapse or bad lifters, look at the trays, see what's going on there. And then I can finally start ordering new parts. Um, I was kind of waiting to disassemble everything before I started ordering stuff because if I found out anything was broken or out of place, I can, you know, order everything in one shot. So let's get to it. So this is a little bit interesting. I've never actually drained the oil in this car, but uh, it's looking quite uh, watery and frothy and just kind of not good. I mean, it definitely looks like it has a blown head gasket with some water and oil mixture, so not a great sign. I know the actual cooling system doesn't have any oil in it, so I don't know what's going on. Somehow oil or water is getting into some of the oil passages. Really hope the motor's okay because if you run a really liquidated oil, it's not gonna have lubrication properties, so your rod bearings suffer and everything in between. So hoping that was not the reason for the lifter tick was bad lubrication. That would be terrible. Finally ready to start pulling the heads off. I'm gonna probably pull the 10 mil bolts on the top first and then do the main ones next. Um, you don't wanna hit those with impact guns because you can actually strip out the threads in the block and I really don't wanna do that or break the bolts. Um, the other thing is I wanna get rid of the EGR and obviously, you know, aftermarket headers are not gonna support the EGR. So it's a lot of stuff to clear up in the engine bay, all these hard pipes that go everywhere. And then there's a line that actually runs into the front of the car so I can get rid of all of that. So it'll be kind of nice. Okay, we are finally ready to take the heads off. Um, I realized there was obviously another set of head bolts I had to get to under where the manifolds are. So what I ended up doing was disconnecting the three bolts where the collector is. And then these headers are actually loose now and out of the way. Um, one other thing I did notice was these header gaskets um, are Felpros. GM does not use Felpro gaskets or this type of gasket material <laughs> from the factory. So I'm thinking that either the cylinder heads were already off, which is bad news, like the previous owner tried to fix a problem, or there was hopefully just a header gasket leak and that's all it was, they just replaced the gasket. So we will see when we finally take these cylinder heads off. So yeah, headers are still in the way, so I'm gonna take them out completely. All right, well, I finally got all the head bolts off. That was an interesting job. Felt like they were held on with about 2,000 foot-pounds. Um, my weak ass, I ended up standing on top of the motor and using this big ass breaker bar to, to have the right leverage because I, I was having trouble leaning over that car and, you know, turn that wrench. So got all the head bolts off and I'm ready to finally take off the driver's side cylinder head, which I'm pretty sure is the bad one. ground wire stuck on the back of the head. Oh, come on, man. Well, things really don't look too bad, to be honest. I'm gonna inspect pretty closely for cracks. Um, it's really not looking too bad. The gasket itself didn't look like it had any issues either. There was no areas that were like blown out or anything. So I don't know, maybe because this is a multi-layer steel gasket, it could have leaked through um, the layers. It's a possibility. It's weird that these layers aren't actually like 
molded together in one piece. See where the, the actual cylinder is? It's all separated. Usually gaskets will have like a seal that just wraps around the whole inner ring. So who knows? Um, looking at the motor itself, pistons don't really look all that bad. Actually pretty clean. Um, I don't know, this one piston has a different color, so that's kind of different, but I don't know, looks fairly decent. Alright, so I'm going to take the lifter trays out now. Passenger side's coming off. No real immediate apparent problems on this side. All the pistons are looking pretty good. Head gasket off. Head gasket looking pretty good. Not bad at all. I'm hoping it's just one of the lifters on this side. I'm going to take the lifter trays off now. After all that work, everything actually looks completely fine. I don't get it. I mean, I, I would think I would find a totally messed up lifter or something. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to actually test these lifters if they're bad or what to actually look for. I'll have to research that, but I mean, you look at the inside of them and nothing really looks collapsed or anything. They're all the same height. I don't get it. There's no scoring on any of these rollers. All the rollers are working fine. Don't understand it. I mean, the only thing I can think is that, again, these lifter trays might have warped or something from the heat, and then these lifters might not have been in the right spot anymore. And heads look great. I'm gonna get the heads um, decked and then apply some better head gaskets some ARP head studs, and then probably get like a little port job done on them, port and polish, just the basics. But yeah, I'm pretty happy nothing's messed up on the top end. Um, really hope it's not a bottom end issue. I really don't want to say that <laughs> too loud, but um, I don't know. Just gonna put it back together, send it, put a cam in it, have fun with the car not worry about it. <laughs> it's not like it's my daily driver or anything, just like a weekend fun toy. You guys have seen the videos. So after inspecting things extremely closely and doing another double take, the cylinder heads have definitely been off on this car. If you look at this head gasket here, there's a date, July 31st, 2019. This car is a 2004, so Yep, these head gaskets are new and these heads have been off. I also noticed that there are some surface scratches. You probably can't see it in this uh, video, but there are a ton of like surface scratches and it does not seem like they took these heads to a machine shop when they put new head gaskets on. So it seems like they kind of just slapped new gaskets on and called it a day, so. Hoping that actually doing some machine work will help a bit. I also did notice that in this one cylinder here, there's a bit of wear at the top of the piston. I don't know if you can see those two marks, those two kind of lighter spots in the metal. 
There's no scoring or anything, but they just seem a little bit worn out at the top of where the piston sits. Because you can see these ones are at top dead center and at the same sort of position. Uh, I also notice here there are some deeper scratches in the corner of where this head meets. I'm hoping that's not really a ceiling surface and I can get away with just cleaning this deck up and slapping the new gaskets on and getting the refresh heads back on there. But I don't know, a little concerning. Any of you guys know LS stuff and can recommend some other things to look into while I have everything apart, some things to double check, that'd be extremely helpful. Um, don't really know a ton about these motors. I'm really a straight six BMW guy. So figuring these things out as I go and I wanna make sure this thing is right when I put it all back together. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Um, I think next episode, I'm going to start ordering some parts and then I'm gonna take the all the accessories off the front of the motor so I can get to the cam and then pull the cam, put a new one in. Get the heads done, slap it all back together. It should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.